Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and I found it a little disturbing to recently discover two articles published only this month about possible side effects of fluoride, particularly the fluoride in our water. This was a study done at uh, Mount Sinai and published in Environmental International and it talks about fluoride diminishing kidney and liver function in adolescence and this is of concern. Now we don't know which adolescents may be affected if they already have somewhat compromised liver or kidney function uh, but nevertheless this is something that is interesting and the first time I've read or heard about it. The second study which may be even more pertinent is, and this was published in August, Journal of the American Medical Association Pediatrics, and it's talking about pregnant women who drank more fluoridated water had children with three or four points lower by age three or four on their IQ. So lower IQ on children of women who drank more fluoridated water. Now, the American Dental Association says one study is not enough. Well, one study is not enough, and they need to do more. But certainly, it raises concerns. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control has called fluoridation of water one of the top 10 most important advancements in public health in the 20th century. On the other hand, this is interesting, and I never knew this, but about four years ago, in 2015, the recommendation was lowered for the amount of fluoride in the water. It had been 0.7 to 1.2 parts per million. Now they don't want it more than 0.7 parts per million. So they're already starting to lower the amount of fluoride in the water. They may have whatever reasons they have, supposedly staining or fluorosis of the teeth, but who knows? You know, it's interesting, despite wide fluoridation, which has lowered the caries rate or the decay rate of individuals here in the United States significantly. It hasn't lowered it any more than in Europe, European countries that don't have fluoridated water but get their fluoride from dental products or local supplements, which to me is much more safe or I think is much safer than ingesting the fluoride which goes throughout your body and may affect your entire body. The authors of this wrote that it may be indicated to reduce fluoride in pregnant women. So, you know, there's this shadow that's being cast over fluoridated water. We don't know how important it is or how real it is, but these two studies to me are very, very, very significant. I hope there are more studies, but it's going to take a long time for the American Dental Association or the CDC to change their mind about this because to some extent it's a matter of saving face. They've invested a lot of time and energy into promoting fluoride and for them to suddenly say well maybe we should not do it uh, I think would, 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 it would take a lot of effort uh, to reach that point but I think local communities may start eliminating fluoride from their waters it wouldn't surprise me and that could happen, you know, maybe this might be an impetus for that. I'm not saying fluoride is bad, but it's questionable. And should we really be taking in fluoride for our teeth when it goes throughout our whole body and affects our whole body? Anyway, some interesting news. It concerns me. I haven't read these studies before. This is recent. So just for your consideration, but most importantly, keep yourself healthy, keep your mouth healthy, you will definitely have a healthier body, and we would love to hear from you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Questions, comments are welcome, and have a wonderful day. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.